Make sure I don't forget anything. Into TAFE today, Meadowbank TAFE, which means training it. Not as dark as I thought it was going to be. Pitch black when I had to wake up. My biggest worry is forgetting something. And I can't remember everything they told us to bring. Remember those things? Public phone, my god. Train is at three minutes to six. I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget anything. I know we had to bring our own PPE because it is a construction course. So I've got my goggles, the prescription ones so I can see. Hearing protection, dust mask, which I've got to put together. RZ mask, regular mask when we get onto the train. High vis vest, steel cap boots, gloves. I can't remember if I needed the gloves for this one or the brick laying on, which is later. I also grabbed the hard hat. I don't know if we need the hard hat. But I didn't want to muck around trying to find the paperwork this morning to say, Here's what you need to bring. Laptop in case I need the work. Plus I can also do work on the train. But I forgot the dongle for my flash drive because it's USB-C. And that's sitting in my glasses case and I wasn't going to bring my proper glasses. I just thought I'd bring the cheaper readers. Back brace, just in case. I remembered the dongle when I got it up the street and I went, I'm not turning around. Not as cold as I thought it would be too. Complete cloud cover. So it's probably kept a bit of the warmth in. side of the station used to be tiled because they were like a, a nice old train station thing but they got very slippery and they were wet and I've noticed now it's that soft fall rubber all the way down so it's softer to walk up but it also means that you're not going to slip water runs off it into the drains down the side and you get more grip on it look weird really when I first saw it but I kind of understand why. A bit of a correction. There's a bit of a having those things. We're set up so you can basically lane. I'm sitting on just a brick leg.
a big day. And I'm glad I caught the train. Usually I got very tired. I was able to nap on the train. Had us all arrived there. We're basically split into two groups. They gave us a tour. Do it all again tomorrow. Let's do it all again, shall we? Arched yesterday and I don't need the hard hat because we're not going into the actual hard hat zone of the workshops when we're working. But we did have to bring our own boots, goggles, hearing protection, dust masks, and a tape measure and pencil if you've got it, which I grabbed today. About to keep a tape measure in the truck. Yesterday I did the tiling exercises. And today is going to be the doors and windows exercises. I sat down and the guard came over and said, we've just been told that the train's running 24 minutes late. And I went, crap, and that's going to get to the TAFE after I'm supposed to be there, like to the train station down there. I got on maps and tried to see if it'd be quicker for me to drive down now. I was just about to stand up and get, go get in the car and maybe drive down. Then she came around the corner again and goes, well, apparently it's at the next station up. So it's on time. That's good. Glad I didn't have to drive because at the end of the day I'm exhausted but I didn't want to be driving home exhausted. Snoozed on the train yesterday coming back. That's the end of my, my time at Meadowbank TAFE. It's been interesting seeing the two different parts, like the older buildings where we did the tiling and the big brand new building where we did the carpentry. A massive big building, excellent facility. And they've only been in it since last term. It's not even half a year. Had all these AEG cordless power tools 
and I asked them if they thought they were any good or was it or did they just get like a sponsorship and they said no one steals them no one steals the batteries they said like they've, they've been all right they said they had a few Bosch things burn out which I've had to but they said as soon as they've got Makita gear in they all go missing and they said and especially batteries because batteries cost like 150 bucks each they'd get in the whole stack of Makita gear and batteries and the batteries would go missing so they went for the AEG and they've still got all the gear. Ha <laughs>